besides being two famous former presidents of the United States. Donald Trump and Barack Obama are two tycoons who know how to make the most of their immense fortunes. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you're going to see a fierce battle between Barack Obama and Donald Trump. Welcome to Daily Lifestyle with Celebrities. The two politicians don't skimp when it comes to investing in good places to live, but which one has the most expensive mansion? Some sources claim that Barack has acquired a beautiful 30-acre waterfront estate on the island of Martha's Vineyard in the U.S. state of Massachusetts. The house built in 2001 has 7,000 square feet of living space and is spread over seven bedrooms, including an impressive master suite with fireplace and balcony, as well as eight bathrooms. The property features a modern family kitchen and another chef's kitchen, a circular formal dining room surrounded by a wall full of windows, and a living room with a vaulted ceiling and stone fireplace. There are several entertainment spaces, including a lounge with a pool table, a terrace overlooking the bay, and a relaxing outdoor spa tub. The expansive lawn and incredible water views create the perfect setting for the Obama family to relax. Summer days can be even more refreshing by the poolside, a spot surrounded by trees, and an ideal space to relax. The property also offers a barn for storing kayaks and boats, along with a two-car garage. By purchasing this property, the Obama family gains direct access to a lake that mixes fresh and salt water and opens up to the ocean. According to Forbes magazine, the former president closed the purchase of this incredible vacation home, which looks more like a paradise retreat, at the end of 2019, paying an impressive $11.7 million. Trump, for his part, owns a property called Seven Springs, a mansion where he usually spends a few seasons with his family. Located in the town of Bedford, in the state of New York, on an impressive 121 acres, the mansion has 49,000 square feet of built area. It's a real castle with Georgian architecture, with 60 rooms and 15 luxurious bedrooms. Surrounded by nature reserves and with a lake by the side of the house, the place serves as a refuge for Trump from the hectic cities. And the exact value of this property is highly disputed, estimated at around $20 million. Both tycoons have a lot of cars in their garages, but which one invests more money in luxury vehicles? Obama, for example, it is speculated that he once owned a 2005 Chrysler 300C, a vehicle valued at $30,000, but that the car's subsequent owner tried unsuccessfully to auction it off for $1 million. He also once owned a Ford Escape Hybrid, valued at $40,000. Obama has also been seen with a Jeep Grand Cherokee, an SUV that can be found costing around $55,000. Currently, because he is a former president, he is driven by members of the U.S. Secret Service. The vehicle used is believed to be an armored and fully customized Chevrolet Suburban to provide maximum security. Trump, on the other hand, once owned a Ferrari F430, which he sold at auction in 2017 for $280,000. Another vehicle that has passed through the businessman's garage is a Lamborghini Diablo VT, a very exclusive machine that costs around $420,000. As a gift to the First Lady, Trump bought a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren, a super sports model worth a whopping $450,000. A classic model among American millionaires that he has been seen driving is a Rolls-Royce Phantom, which, depending on the version, costs up to $460,000. As Trump's cars are more luxurious, he wins this round. Other Means of Transportation both former presidents like to travel in comfort and safety, but which one has the most expensive means of transportation? Starting with Obama is known that he has rented a boat belonging to David Geffen, called Rising Sun, a 450-foot superyacht that has hosted artists such as Oprah, Leonardo DiCaprio, Paul McCartney, and others. The yacht built in Germany in 2004 has four decks, so there is plenty of room for passengers. This boat is considered to be the 11th largest yacht in the world, with an estimated value of $300 million. In other words, renting it for a trip must have cost Obama quite a bit of money. Meanwhile, Trump has a fleet of aircraft, having already declared three units of the Sikorsky S-76 model. Located in New York, Florida, and Scotland, the helicopters are an exclusive convenience for the executives, members, and VIP guests of Donald Trump's company. 
the helicopters have undergone interior renovations, equipped with sophisticated gold-plated hardware and comfortable finishes. Each one usually costs $7 million, for a total of $21 million. When it comes to aircraft, the simplest model the businessman owns is a Cessna Citation X, a medium-sized, high-speed twin-engine jet capable of comfortably carrying up to nine passengers. It is often used by Trump when he needs agile transportation, without neglecting comfort. No wonder the aircraft is valued at $23 million. For longer journeys, the businessman relies on his private Boeing 757, a very common model for commercial flights. The aircraft, in its traditional layout, can carry up to 280 passengers, but it has been refurbished to become a veritable mansion, meeting all of Donald Trump's requirements. The turbines, for example, were replaced with Rolls-Royce ones and the seatbelts were plated in 24 karat gold. The jet was divided into the following areas. Cabin with armchairs for relaxing and watching a movie, with a TV for each bed. Dining room. Main lounge with a 57-inch television. A guest area with a sofa that turns into a bed. And Donald Trump's comfortable bedroom with a bed, armchair, and TV as well as a bathroom with a gold-plated shower and sink. The estimated price of this customized aircraft capable of carrying 43 people is $100 million. It's not for everyone, is it? And for having such luxurious means of transportation, Trump wins this round. Other Properties Both politicians have lived in many places, but which one owns the most impressive real estate? Obama after leaving the White House. He and his family moved into a very comfortable mansion in Washington, D.C., being the second most expensive house in the neighborhood, second only to Jeff Bezos' property. The historic 1920s residence has an exterior design from its time, with a brick veneer, while the interior is more modern, updated and refined. The property has 8,200 square feet of floor space, having in total an impressive nine bathrooms, including a lavatory, and nine bedrooms in order to accommodate the Obama couple and their two daughters, as well as having several extra rooms for possible guests. The house's decor follows a classic and clean style. In the main kitchen, for example, the planned furniture is white and the countertops are marble, besides being fully equipped with stainless steel appliances. Just entering the main living room there is a cozy fireplace, a place where Obama can warm up in the colder days and receive his friends for a good conversation. The dining room, on the other hand, is quite sophisticated, having a wooden ceiling, while its walls are white. Outside, the property has a large backyard with armchairs for the family to enjoy the outdoor moments. And after living in this property via renting, Barack Obama decided to buy the house in 2017 for $8,100,000. Trump, for his part, is not far behind. In his famous New York skyscraper, Trump Tower, Donald has reserved the top three floors as his home. From the entrance door alone, you can imagine the luxury of the former president's property, which is made of gold with diamond-encrusted stones. The entire penthouse is decorated with large chandeliers and luxurious furniture, while 24K gold ornaments line the space, from the ceilings and moldings to trays and glasses. Inspired by the Palace of Versailles, the furniture and decoration are in a classic style, with marble coverings. The spacious living room, for example, has works of art on the walls, an imposing white piano, and sumptuous chandeliers, as well as a sculpted, well-lit fountain in the very center of the room. European sculptures and ornaments, as well as chandeliers with candles, are also present in the residence. This is where Donald Trump usually gathers his five children and wife on special dates, and also where he receives some guests for important meetings. A private elevator connects the apartment to the former president's office on another floor of the building. But if the businessman or his wife wants to work directly from home, there is an office with a great view of the city and the triplex itself. The entire residence has large glass windows that offer a great view from any room. Located on a busy New York Avenue, Trump Tower has also been home to the residences of several celebrities, such as footballer Cristiano Ronaldo and former singer Michael Jackson. In the case of the soccer player's apartment, the decoration featured a strong presence of wood and vintage furniture, and he acquired this property for $18.5 million. But as Trump's triplex is larger and more luxurious, with decoration worthy of a palace, the price is also higher. Some sources claim that Trump and his beautiful wife's house in downtown New York is worth $100 million. 
After leaving the White House, Donald Trump moved to one of his most luxurious properties, called Mar-a-Lago, located in Palm Beach, Florida. The businessman acquired the property in 1985 and turned it into a private club and spa exclusively for the region's social elite. The main area of the club occupies around 54,000 square feet, but Trump himself has said that his entire property in this location occupies 1 million square feet, making it the largest private area in Palm Beach. And, of course, he has his little corner of the huge property, covering 3,000 square feet. To give you an idea of the grandeur, the development has 126 rooms, some private beaches, and a 20,000-square-foot ballroom decorated with $7 million in gold leaf. The price to become a member of this club is around $200,000, excluding annual fees. And some sources claim that Donald Trump's leisure complex is valued at an impressive $160 million. Both former presidents love to visit charming places, but who has the best vacation properties? Barack Obama, for example. On one of his vacations, he visited the island of Tetiroa in French Polynesia, where he enjoyed the paradisiacal tropical landscapes of this destination. On this occasion, the former president stayed at the Brando Resort, one of the most luxurious ecological hotels in the world. The place has extremely comfortable and refined facilities, offering plenty of contact with nature. And to spend a night at this resort, you have to pay up to $4,000. Obama has also rented a very private $22.5 million mansion for the summer, located in a small village in Massachusetts. With a 40,000-square-foot lot and a 200-square-foot home, the destination offers plenty of comfort for the Obama family. The property has a total of five bathrooms and six bedrooms to accommodate guests well. It is also possible to enjoy a beautiful infinity-edge pool and even a private gym. A real luxury! On another occasion, the Obama couple rented a very modern and luxurious mansion for a season in the upscale and very exclusive Hollywood Hills neighborhood in Los Angeles. The mansion is a massive 12,200 square feet, with plenty of room to accommodate many guests, who can occupy the spacious seven bedrooms. The master suite, for example, is quite luxurious, featuring a balcony that overlooks the city and a bathroom with a relaxing tub. Outside the mansion, there are armchairs to relax in, as well as a large outdoor pool with a spa attached. When it comes to entertainment, the house offers many options, such as a lounge with a pool table and bar space, a spa area with an indoor pool, whirlpool, and dry sauna, a fitness room for Pilates with a relaxing massage bed, and also a private cinema room. But, without a doubt, the highlight of the residence is an aquarium that houses three sharks, which also has a vertical garden. And although it is not known how much the Obama couple paid to be accommodated in this mansion, one can imagine that it was not cheap at all. After all, the property is valued at $23 million. Trump, on the other hand, owns an inn in the state of Virginia called Albemarle Estate. The 25,800-square-foot mansion in classic Georgian style is reminiscent of a charming, traditional English home. The resort was designed to embody modern luxury while retaining unique historical details such as 1760 Waterford crystal chandeliers, hand-painted plaster ceilings, and wallpaper. Complementing the luxury of the property are manicured English gardens, fishing ponds, and an outdoor swimming pool with a hot tub. All the accommodations offer breathtaking views of the Virginia vineyards. The property also offers a pool table in the library, a private movie theater, a 24-hour gym, and a wide range of outdoor activities. And of course, the place offers great experiences with the wines produced in the region. To stay at Trump's property, you'll need to shell out around $500 a night, and who knows, maybe you'll bump into the former president there. Another property in Donald Trump's portfolio that is a destination on his days off is Le Chateau de Pamiers, a beachfront property in the French city of St. Martin, located on a Caribbean island. There are two villas on site, one of which faces the beach with six bedrooms and the other overlooks the garden with four bedrooms. The elegantly designed villas have a spectacular heated swimming pool, tennis court, gym, spa, and dining rooms. When Trump is not on location, Le Chateau becomes a private resort with total privacy and guaranteed fun. Guests can enjoy accommodation with chef-prepared meals and relaxing massage services, all for up to $60,000 a week. And the former president's natural Caribbean paradise is worth around $25 million. And because Trump owns his vacation properties, 
everyone knows that both former presidents have made a lot of money during their careers, but which one has amassed the biggest fortune? Obama, for example, having served as President of the United States for eight years, received an annual salary of $400,000. In total, he earned $3.2 million as head of state. But without a doubt, the income responsible for Obama's enrichment came from his work as a writer. His memoir Dreams from My Father, for example, published in 1995, achieved a great number of sales, resulting in a profit of $6.8 million. Meanwhile, with his bestseller Audacity of Hope and the children's book of the I Sing a Letter to My Daughters, according to Forbes magazine, Obama earned $8.8 .8 million. Another more recent book, A Promised Land, was published in November 2020, selling nearly 890,000 copies in the US and Canada within 24 days of its release. Not to mention that he and his wife make money by giving lectures. Some sources claim that the former first lady makes $225,000 and the former president makes as much as $400,000 per presentation. In addition to their million-dollar literary empire, the couple made a pretty penny on a creative production partnership they signed with Netflix. The $50 million annual deal calls for the Obamas to produce a diverse mix of content, including series, documentaries, and feature films. And according to Forbes magazine, the couple made an impressive $20.5 million between 2005 and 2016. But with so many jobs and sources of income that Barack Obama to this day, some reports estimate that his fortune has increased even further to as much as $70 million. Donald Trump, on the other hand, had many people wondering what his fortune was and what his pretensions were to command the greatest global power, given that he was already considered a billionaire. As president, Trump not only gave up his salary of $78,000 a month for donations but also spent more than $66 million out of pocket to finance his campaign. As host of the reality TV show The Apprentice, the tycoon allegedly earned $427 million from his salary, sponsorships, and licenses over the show's 14 seasons. But his fortune goes far beyond his work in the media. Donald Trump is a businessman with an extensive real estate portfolio, which guarantees him a great income. He owns several hotels around the world, such as the five-star Trump International Hotel chain in Chicago, Las Vegas, Washington, D.C., Greater New York, and Dunebeg, Ireland, Trump Doral in Miami, Florida, Waikiki in Hawaii, and Turnberry in Scotland. The businessman also owns several golf courses, such as Bali in Indonesia and Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Not to mention his many luxurious residential and commercial buildings. Donald Trump also has a vast network of licensed products, ranging from household items to clothes, jewelry, and sweets. According to Forbes, $170 million of his fortune is generated by products bearing his name alone. In addition, throughout his career, Trump has written a total of 19 books on a variety of subjects, including a golf manual, guides to building a fortune, and even a detective novel. Unlike the big billionaires who have their fortunes publicly exposed by having their assets allocated on the stock exchange, it's not so easy to know what all the former president's money is. However, Donald Trump himself has already announced that his fortune is $10 billion, a much